Good morning, Beachbody Canada. I'm going to give you guys a second or two to hop on, drop an emoji, or say hello once you are on. And if you can hear me, I know it's early, but um, I know some of you are early birds. So let me know if you see me or hear me. Hey, Jess. Yay. My girl, Jess. She is here. Perfect. You can hear me okay, Jess? Okay. Lovely. Okay, let's give this one more minute and then we will dive in. I initially had made pages and pages of notes. And if you're in my downline, you know that I usually make notes and then throw them away because I'm like, oh, I just, I, I need to talk from the heart. I have so much I want to say. So um, I've decided to just do a couple bullet points to keep me on track. And I'm going to respect your time because I know you guys are all busy. We all wear a lot of hats other than beach body coaches, whether you're a mom, you're a student, um, whatever it is that you do, I want to respect your time and try and get through this as quick as I can. Um, okay, perfect. Good morning, Cass. Glad you guys can make it on. So I'm just going to dive in. Um, I'm Kirsten Crow. I am a coach from Saskatchewan, uh, Regina, and I am, um, I've been coaching for four and a half years now, which is crazy. Um, it has flown by, like absolutely flown by. And I do this, I say full time, but I still um, go in to see some of my regular patients as a dental hygienist three days a week. Um, I just haven't quite been able to give it up yet just because I do love seeing my patients. And I think once we have kids, that, that'll change. But for right now, um, I do go in two or three days a week just to see my regulars. So um, I managed to build a business while working part-time outside of the home as well. Um, I have a life still. We have lots of nephews and family. and We travel a lot. So I make it work. And that's why Beachbody is so amazing is because it's perfect for busy people. Like it's literally the perfect opportunity for busy people. And I wanted to share with you guys this past year how I achieved so much growth because I recently um, kind of looked back at October's gone past and the growth that's happened from October 2014 to October 2018. And the biggest jump was October 2017 to 18. And it was, there was a reason that it worked. There was a reason why I saw that growth. And I wanted to share with you some of the conscious de decisions that I made to see that growth happen. So first off, growth is a decision. It is not accidental. You know, it's not like in biology where we grow because, you know, we eat nutritious food and it just kind of happens. You wake up one day and you're taller or your, you know, your hair is longer. For in, in the business world, growth isn't accidental. It's a conscious decision. So um, in October of last year, I remember thinking to myself, I was disappointed that I wasn't going to lock in Elite because I had, um, I had a diamond coach that quit and I had a choice to make. It was a decision. I'm going to let that derail me and be, you know, hit to my ego and I was hurt and I was sad and blah, blah, blah. Or I could let it fuel me. And so you know what? I'm not going to let that define me. I'm not going to let this define me because I'm going to strive for greatness. I'm going to push my booty to get to elite. I'm going to push. And I guarantee you that pushing and all those behaviors in there to get me where I want to go, even if I don't hit my target, I'm going to be better off for it. And even if I don't hit it again, I am not going to quit because I'm going to be better off for it. So I made a decision. I had a driving force. I had a why. We um, had just gotten engaged last year. We're now married. Um, and I remember thinking to myself, okay, so my whole vision before of having kids and wanting to be a stay-at-home mom, that was my now my why. I'm like, okay, I don't just want to be a stay-at-home mom. I want to be the breadwinner. I want to be um, a very successful stay-at-home, work-from-home mom, and I have some time now. I knew we were going to get married this past August, so I said, okay, I am going to hustle. I'm going to make this work so that we can live a really comfortable life uh, without me going back to dentistry. So um, that comes with sacrifice, straight up. I made sacrifices. I love me some Netflix. I love me some Kardashians and I love scrolling on the internet, but I had to make a decision. I decided to sacrifice the things that don't matter, the things that aren't serving me anyway. So I gave up those small little things that we don't think take up a ton of time, but they truly do. So I gave up a lot of Netflix. We still watch shows every now and then, but that is after all my business is done. That is after, um, you know, I'm completed my my duties for the day my work for the day messaging inviting and i really really crushed my uh, business activity tracker 
So sacrifices have to be made and you know what they are in your life. Probably for me, it was beer league slow, uh, slow pitch in the summertime. We played like on several different teams and it took up a lot of time in the evenings. I had to say, okay, I'm going to play pickup every now and then I'm not going to commit to a team because I just, I can't, I do team calls, team trainings. I have some really big goals. So I'm sorry. I can't. So I made some sacrifices and it was really worth it. It was worth it. Um, and it takes effort truly like the difference between let's say 2017 or 2016 to 2017 and 2017 to 2018 is effort. I'm doing similar behaviors that I have been doing my entire career, but the effort has been amped up. The energy has been amped up. So I think my followers can sense that my team can sense that. And there's a level of commitment that wasn't there before. Um, so what I mean by that is I'm not just posting on my story, a sweaty flexi selfie and saying, got my workout in. I'm educating people or I'm sharing something that's of value with that sharing like, Hey, take a look. I'm going to take you for a tour of beach body on demand or this move focused on this group. And here's what, uh, you know, whether it's Tony or whether it's uh, Sean T or Joel, like this is what I learned today. Um, and you're educating people. The biggest thing that I tell my team all the time is do a gut check. Is your open sign on? whatever platform you use, whether it be Facebook or Instagram or your Facebook like page, is your open sign on? When someone comes to your page, do they know you're open for business? Because if someone come, is searching, let's say the hashtag Beachbody coach, and they are looking for a Beachbody coach, they search on Instagram. That's how we search nowadays, right? We don't go to Google. If you're looking for a restaurant review, you go to Instagram. You check out what people are posting and hashtagging. Same thing with Beachbody. They're gonna type in the hashtag Beachbody coach, and they're gonna look, and they're gonna find, maybe they find two of you. One of you has that pink ring around. They can tell that you have a, a story. You consistently post, you post a lot. It's really valuable, really entertaining, educational, inspiring. You have a really easy to read bio. Maybe you have a link that people can sign up and join you, or maybe you go in there and there's more links and they can join a sneak peek and join your team and FAQ. And then they go to your post and you're there every day. Like you show the frig up, you show up. And people are like, oh, she's open but maybe they clicked on another page. There's no story. The bio doesn't really tell you what they do or who they are. There's no link to sign up and they haven't posted in six days. Who do you trust? Who are you going to message first? The person whose open sign is on. Gut check guys, make sure that your open sign is on. And what worked for me, a big transition that I made actually in 2017 is I decided to focus on one social media platform. One. I focused on Instagram and that was risky because I didn't know how it would play out. Um, before I had been posting similar stuff on Facebook, similar stuff on, on my Facebook like page, similar stuff on Instagram and trying to manage it all and kind of half-assing all of them, truly. Um, so I decided, you know what, I'm not going to, to grow my business on Facebook. I still use it for challenge groups, sneak peeks, my coach page, but Instagram is where I'm going to be and I'm gonna go in 110%. And that change was really, really pivotal for me in my growth. I could do it really well. I didn't feel like my, my energy or my time or my creativity was being pulled. And obviously this is just what worked for me. You have to do what works for you. Some people are really good at multitasking. I'm a monotasker. I focus on like one thing and I do it really, really well. And I strongly believe in monotasking because my energy is there and then I find the quality is increased because I can really focus on one thing. Um, and another thing I want you to focus on in your, let's just talk about Instagram in general. Um, when people come to your page and they watch your story throughout the day, because now you have, um, really loyal followers, they show, they show up every day because you show up every day. You want to hit three things in your social media every single day. You want to inspire, you want to educate and you want to entertain. And if you can do those three things, people are going to come back because if you're inspiring them, you're going to make people feel good. People remember how you make them feel and they're going to keep coming back because you make them feel good. You have good vibes. You're positive. You're uplifting. When they're down, they know who to go to, to feel a pick me up. If you're educating people, you're adding value because people are very conscious about the time they spend on social media. They want to spend it wisely because people are trying to eliminate, you know, the, the fluff and the extra. But if you're actually educating them, um, maybe you're sharing uh, principles that you've learned through to be mindset, or you're sharing, um, you know, some of the science behind Shakeology or the science behind the nutrition programs, you're actually educating people and bringing value. People are going to show up because it's worth their time. And if you're entertaining people that keeps them coming back, that keeps them coming back because you make them laugh, you make them smile. Um, and then you are relatable, right? You, they want to come back because 
they see something in you that you know that they love and you're entertaining them and you're a real person um, people love that people love that Another big transition that I made this past year was I started telling stories. Every post that I make, I try and tell a story rather than just, you know, fluff or filler or like, oh, I don't know what to post. I'm just going to do this. Sometimes that still happens. Don't get me wrong. But the bulk of my posts, I try and tell a story every single day. Uh, maybe it's a story that's uplifting or saying, you know, I did so good today. I'm so proud of myself. Or maybe it's like, I'm human and I, I ate like a giant bag of jalapeno cheddar chips in an arrow bar at a movie. And that, that was me last week. It happened. So people then message me and say, it's so nice to hear that you're real and you're raw, but that doesn't happen at surface level. You're not going to get those connections with people and that trust built at surface level. You got to dive a little deeper, be willing to get vulnerable, be willing to expose that side of you that you might be fearful to expose because that's where you're going to find your tribe. That's where you're going to find your people and you're going to start attracting coaches to your teams. That's what's going to be the game changer for you. Um, trust is built by showing up and this comes to um, kind of back to the point I made about your open sign being on trust is built by showing up if you do not show up you cannot expect people to trust you if you don't show up for 10 days and then you send out a bunch of invitations and you're like oh I need to lock in success club at the last little bit of this month people don't trust you because they'll go back and they'll creep you because if anyone messages me trying to sell me something or you know invite me to something you better believe I'm gonna creep them first before I answer and if you're not there, if you're not present and if you're not showing up, they can't feel that energy or that excitement. They're very unlikely to be like, yes, I'm excited too. I feel that energy. I want to join you. They're not as likely to do that. Um, commit to your journey. It is no coincidence, you guys, that this has been the healthiest and fittest and happiest year of my life. And my business has thrived. My business has exploded. That is not a coincidence. If you are struggling in your business, I want you to check your fitness and wellness journey. I want you to just check it for a second. Are you pushing? Are you committed? Have you dove in? And do you share every ounce of that fitness journey, the good, the bad, the in-between? Because when I dove in, committed to lift four, committed to all these programs throughout the year, getting ready for our wedding, and committed to to be mindset and got bomb results, that was a huge difference maker for me. My business exploded because I've never committed to something before. You know, sure, I do 21 day fix, but I get okay results because I was putting in okay effort, right? And I, nothing was really exploding. But when I thought, you know what, what do I got to lose? If I commit to myself, commit to my, my fitness, my nutrition, my mental health, if I commit to this personal development and everything in between, it's a win-win. My business is going to thrive and my personal life is going to thrive. So I want you to do a gut check for that too. Do you need to amp up your own personal journey? Because you will notice a difference. Another big difference this year that has absolutely given me growth and shown me growth is getting on the phone and talking to people. Any chance that I get, I offer people when they fill out my application, when can we get on the phone? When's, you know, when's a good time for us to chat? I'd love to set up a time to chat. So prospective coaches, prospective challengers, if it works out, the number one way we're going to communicate is by, via a video conference or on the phone, uh, FaceTime, maybe it's going to be on a Zoom. My turnover rate or my conversion rate from prospect to challenger or prospect to coach is because we have face-to-face, -face. they hear your voice. That builds trust. People trust you and they get excited and energy is palpable in a way that texting can't, can't convey. So when people see your face and they hear your voice, they trust you, they get excited, and they're more likely to say yes. So I encourage you to get out of your shell, to be comfortable talking on the phone, talking on a video conference, answering questions. Your conversion rate will go up like crazy. Challenge packs, I used to describe them like, so here's the challenge pack for $160. And with this, you will get dun, 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 dun. And it was just like something they could have looked up on Google. But now I try, and if I'm talking on a voice note, or even if I'm texting it out, I try and make it sound so irresistible. And I'm very conscious of the verbiage that I use when I'm talking about challenge packs, when I'm talking about coaching, when I'm talking about whatever. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this program has changed my freaking life because it's true. It has changed my life and I feel incredible. I've lost 18 pounds. I've kept it off and I still get to eat pizza every now and then. And it's simple. I don't have to weigh my food. I don't have to measure out my food. I'm, I, it's easy. It's super, super simple. So I think just really be conscious of how you're talking about what you're offering. 
I hope there's excitement behind it. I hope there's power behind it. And I hope you believe what you're saying. So just rearrange what you're saying. Use words that are like, oh, this the program is just so incredible. And I've seen amazing results. You get everything that I just mentioned included with this. And it's an additional 20 bucks off this month. Woo! And all the emojis. People love that. And there's a difference between that and just point form. This is what you get, 160 bucks. Think about it. Just be very conscious of how you are wording it all. Now, people have been asking me, because I did post about my income progression on Instagram and my stories recently, and I think still here, I'm going to say Beachbody does not guarantee any level of success, nor do I. Um, that is completely dependent upon you, dependent upon your skill level, your effort, all that and in between. But I think it's important that I share with you the growth that I've seen, because every year prior, I have seen growth, which is great. I'm always happy to see growth. Growth in business doesn't happen for every industry. It doesn't happen in the tech world. It doesn't happen in the egg world. It doesn't always happen you know, in other industries. With my other friends, they've seen decreases, right? I'm so thankful that with Beachbody, a lot of me and my friends that work in this industry, we've constantly seen growth. Name another industry that's <laughs> constantly growing in the last five years, going up, doubling, doubling, doubling. It's amazing, it's incredible. So in October of 2017, uh, throughout that month, throughout my CBCs, we earned $7,200, which was incredible. And you know, that's not like the top coach. That's not what they earn. They earn way more than that. But I'm so proud of it because I remember working hard for that. Did I put in a ton of effort? Sure. But I wasn't ultra creative. Um, I didn't do these things. Okay. I was doing, that was basically the compound effect. That was four-ish years um, of, you know, business activity tracker consistently inviting sneak peeks, challenge groups, doing the basics. And that, that paid off, the compound effect paid off. But when I tweaked things a bit, when I upped the energy, when I upped the effort and the excitement, I saw October 18 as the biggest month in our business ever. October 2018, we earned $17,000. 17,000, we went from seven, 7,200 to 17. Now, that's not to brag because, I, you guys, I'm not an elite coach. I have yet to lock in elite. You better believe that's my goal every single year. That is my goal every single year. And there's a reason why my earnings are the way they are because I strive for greatness. I might not hit that target. You know, I've got, I've got wonderful diamond coaches in my second CVC, my husband's account. Oh, he's got diamond coaches on his and it just hasn't worked out yet and I'm working hard at it and I'm going to continue to strive for it. But you can tell that just because I'm not hitting that elite goal, it shows you that I can still earn a living and I can still be successful. It doesn't mean I'm stopping striving for it. You should continue to go for that because I sure am. But don't let not hitting a goal derail you. Because if I, two, three, four years ago, thought, well, I didn't hit elite this year. I'm done. I quit. I'm over it. Because I'm disappointed in myself. Because obviously that means I'm not successful. I would not have seen that growth. Okay? So I encourage you to just amp up the energy. What you're doing now, just increase the energy and the excitement around it. I hope this was helpful. I hope this showed you that you don't have to do extra necessarily, but you have to just bring more. You have to bring yourself. You have to get out of your shell and show people who you are. And by diving in and being the best leader you can be for your team, everything changes. Everything changes. And what's that saying? If you shoot for the moon, you miss, you land among the stars, kind of the same thing. So I'm really happy with my team and how we've done this year. I've seen duplicatable growth on my team. Um, I think when I started amping up the energy as a leader, it was palpable. People started pushing for goals again. People were really amped up again. And I'm seeing people just branch off and grow these beautiful, wonderful, big teams. Energy and enthusiasm is contagious, you guys. Do you have that energy in your downline page? Do you have that enthusiasm in your challenge groups? Are your challenge groups exciting and fun and people are referring friends to you because they're having such a good time in it? Gut check. Be real with yourself. Be honest with yourself. And sometimes we have to have those tough conversations with ourselves uh, to realize, like, man, I've got more to give. This isn't just, this isn't all I've got. I've got more to give. So that may have been rambly and that may have been all over the place. And I maybe should have followed my notes, but that's just not who I am. <laughs> um, I'll just wait a minute or two here and see if you guys have any questions in the comment section. I'll scroll down a little bit here.
and then you could even ask in the comment section and I'll check a little bit later today and I can always respond but thank you guys um, that was lots of fun and I hope you all have really big goals that you're striving for um, and that you can see the bigger picture because it's all worth it I promise you guys it is all worth it okay have a great day guys and we'll chat soon